Okay, so for anyone that decided to set up a WordPress via GoDaddy, or not even, because you can set up a WordPress via GoDaddy with your own template, but if you chose to go with a GoDaddy template, such as I did for this client who wanted a basic website, um, you will run into this issue with the primer theme, with GoDaddy's primer theme and you will not be able to find anywhere on how to change the footer. You can try as you can. Um, you, one instance is if you don't have cPanel experience and you just know basic HTML or you're starting out, you can download a plugin. It's called Remove Footer Credit. And if you go with that plugin, you have to go one line at a time. So in this case, we would do GitHub, GoDaddy, WP Primer, etc. And then on the bottom half, you would replace each line with your new line. And this this plugin it is very um, I'm not gonna say complicated, but it's it's hit or miss. So you could try this this way of doing it. And how you know well, so we're just going to do that first real quick. And that, this, this actual plugin may make the change for you. It might actually make that change for you. Um, I already made changes via my cPanel, so I don't know if it will actually take. So we'll do... So we'll do it this way. So if you're using the Remove Footer Credit plugin, which is not compatible with every version of WordPress, if we do it this way, this is how it should it should uh, be coded in. Separate each line. Let's see if that works. Okay. See, it's hit or miss. So what you really need to do is you need to go into your cPanel. So you need to log into your GoDaddy and then go to hosting. And then once you're in hosting, it will bring you to this cPanel page. You'll want to go to your file manager and you want to pick the root folder. If you have a couple of websites like me, make sure you get the right one. Otherwise, you'll probably only have one. So you want to go ahead and go into the file manager for the website that you're working on. So in this case, it's Tidy Huts. So now we're in, now we're actually inside the Tidy Huts folder. So you need to go to your content, you need to go to your themes, and this would be the primer, the GoDaddy primer theme. So you can go into footer and functions, and you can browse through here for, you know, 400 hours. And I'm not going to lie to you, as an experienced web designer, you, you never know what folder what is in. Occasionally things are in folders that you hadn't expected them to be in. And you could try right-clicking, inspect, and that will narrow it down for you in terms of where you need to be looking within your cPanel folder. So this is site info text, right? index 221 and I checked the index and I checked the site info text and I still wasn't able to find it because they have this um, copyright and uh, the author and GoDaddy's URL are so embedded and enrooted into this file they don't want you to find it they don't want you to change it and according to their license you are allowed to use it and edit it so um, I don't want to go into the legality of changing the footer um, according to my understanding of it, and you can look this up yourself, it is within um, your right to edit the theme. And I would assume that includes theme credit. So you can go in here and you can look through the index, you can look through the credits, and a, a great way of narrowing that down is current directory. You can go to credit, no records, so you, you might have a difficult time. So I'll just tell you straight away. It's not going to be in your editor style CSS. It'll be in your style CSS because here we already know style element. 
style CSS. So we, we pretty much know where to where to find it, style CSS. And you're not going to bother looking for the site info wrapper or the footer text, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, because all that will do is give you some code that is basically a call to action and in within the theme that calls that information forward. So what you need to do is go into the style CSS and actually find where that information is rooted and embedded and change it. So in our case, it's going to be style CSS. So let's take a quick look at that footer again. Tidy Huts Primer Theme by GoDaddy. I already went in and changed the URL. So even though you see me highlighting GoDaddy, you might see to the bottom left the content pros because I've already gone in here and done that. <clears throat> so there's two things. There's a style RTL CSS and a style CSS. I won't explain those to you. If you're a developer, you already know. So we'll first go into style CSS, right? And you're going to go to edit. And this is the real, the true way to change the footer. You're going to have a really hard time trying multiple ways of changing the footer. So I already switched out the themes URI, which was originally GitHub GoDaddy, and I changed the author URI, which was also GoDaddy. And I have already changed those to the content pros. So now we'll go ahead and we'll change that. And that is in our style.css folder. So we're going to save that change. And then we're going to go to the RTL CSS, edit, and make sure you back up any file that you intend on changing. I've already done that step. And then again, I already changed the URIs, the URLs, and now I'm just going back in to change the author texts. So this information here is later plugged into other elements of your file folders in other folders, I should say. And what it does is it's a it's a, a call that pulls this information. So as much as you want to change it, change it, change it, you won't be able to until you actually find this root here and change this. And then after you've done that, those callouts will actually call this information forward. So let's see how that worked out for us. There you have it. Primer theme by the content pros. And you probably want to change it. You don't really need all that. You can just put web design by the content pros. I'm just doing that for an example. So you can pretty much change that information to anything um, that you need it to reflect. So the content pros, you can plug in here theme design by, or you can, uh, actually that's not a good place to put it. But anyhow, this is just how to change the footer in your primer GoDaddy theme. And you, it's really important for you to try to do this via your cPanel. If you don't, again, there is a remove footer credit plugin that line by line, I, I'm assuming it didn't work because I already changed it, the information in the cPanel, but there, this is the only other alternative if you don't have cPanel access or you don't know how to use cPanel. There is a remove footer credit plugin. You can download that plugin and then insert each line separately as to what is actually listed on your footer and then in the box below that here it is remove footer credit and there's an update so I'll update that because I will be handing this over and um, giving the client full control over um, the use of how they manage their website after I've done a tutorial so remove footer credit and you would find that in your tools so once you download remove footer credit you would go to your tools remove footer credit and I will show you very quickly. So in your remove footer credit, oh, low on disk space. In your remove footer credit, you're going to want to hit inspect. So you want to right click, I should say that right click, anywhere in the middle, right click, and um, click inspect, and it will take you to what in, in fact it is that you're inspecting. So that took us here, and that's the copyright text. So you double click on this information here, and then you just head over to the line that you know it is, which is copyright, and you want to edit as HTML, right? Let's do that one more time. Right click, inspect,
edit as HTML. And then this is the content that you'll want to, oh, sorry, that you'll want to copy control C. And line by line, whatever is in that section, you're going to paste line by line and then replace it at the bottom. So you can actually insert everything that you want to change here, copy it, paste it here, and then just backspace out how you want it to read later. I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I don't need it now that I've gone into my cPanel. But it's pretty simple, and there are instructions on the plugins homepage for the Remove Credit, Remove Credit plugin. So once again, if you don't know how to use cPanel, you can go ahead and download the Remove Food Credit plugin, and that should help you. Um, otherwise, I definitely suggest going straight through to the cPanel and changing those two folders out, changing the, that information out in those two folders, which is um, RTL CSS, st style dash RTL CSS, and style dot CSS. And that concludes our lesson for today.